Welcome back. Is everybody ready for our last competitor of the day for the finals? I think y'all could do better than that for the last competitor today, guys. We made it through. Let's do this. After this competitor, we're going to be crowning a new champion. Make sure to stick around at 4.30s for the announcements. And it's with my great pleasure. I'm actually a big fan of, of this young lady. Morgan Ekthroth from Keeper Coffee in Portland, Oregon. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, and give a round for these judges. They've been working really, really hard out there. Hi there, thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for being here. Hi there. And then Morgan, Hi, whenever your judges are settled in, Hello. Take Thanks flight. For being here. All right. Awesome. Everyone feeling nice and comfortable? Perfect. Um, I'll take my music now. Thank you. Had a long day, so we'll just take a second to breathe. Time. Hello judges, my name is Morgan and I'm so excited to be here today. Now coffee has changed, both in how we consume and communicate it. The simple act of visiting a coffee shop now involves risk, something that is arguably the antithesis of what we mean to convey through hospitality. Yet as we've persevered for the last two years, we've seen a boom in home brewers. An explosion of online coffee content creators and rapidly shifting consumer demands as a new younger audience is exposed to coffee. These are the individuals who will instigate our next wave of coffee. They're passionate people brewing at home, and it is here that we need to focus our evolving efforts as coffee professionals. Now judges, of course today I'll be speaking to you, but if you'll notice here behind me, we're live streaming. So I'll additionally be speaking to those who are joining us remotely. These moments, much like our lives off the stage, rarely exist in a vacuum. They're shared, spread, and consumed without physical constraint. Now, I'd like you to take note of the menus in front of you. Prior to this moment, those menus, along with the recipe for our signature beverage, have been shared partake with those partaking in this competition online, enabling those at home to finally partake in the same audio, visual, and now sensory experience that we're about to have today. These moments on this stage where specialty coffee is celebrated deserve to be shared beyond the inherently limited audience that in-person events allow. And because the official status quo on live streaming has changed this year, we're gonna circumvent that with a live stream of our own. Now judges, in the meeting of milk and espresso, we find the familiar face of coffee both as it exists online and at home. It's a starting point, a gateway that links passion to technical mastery. And the hands-on journey required to achieve such technical mastery is just as important for the home barista as the final product itself. Because through trial, error, and then finally, success, passion takes hold. It's in this shared passion that we draw together to savor a beverage that is so much more than the sum of its parts. Judges, today I am starting with a coffee called Eugenoides, one of the parents of Arabica. Produced in Colombia at Finca Immaculata, this coffee is a natural process and does not follow the rules of Arabica. And so because of this, I am updosing in these 18 gram baskets with 20 grams in. We are getting 35 grams out at approximately 22 seconds. This coffee has a low acidity and complex sugar development that allows us to experience flavors that are familiar outside of the context of coffee. The resulting drink is confectionery and comfortable to those brewing at home. Now judges, I will rejoin you shortly. And as I finish handing you your finished drink, I ask that you wait to taste. 
But please, perform your visual evaluation. However, let's now at least talk about what you'll be tasting. Now in this drink, immediately, you will find the taste of cocoa. Then, yellow cake batter. Followed by a melted chocolate ice cream. And lastly, salted caramel. The tactile of this drink is an extremely thick and heavy weight. It is buttery and has a slick and creamy mouthfeel and a long-lasting finish of cocoa that calls back to what you tasted at the beginning of each sip. In order to maximize the sweetness found in the eugenoides, I'm using a freeze-distilled milk, melted out to 50%. Judge's milk and espresso are a combination that meets people where they are, yet it acts as a catalyst to carry them so much further. It's where many of us started our journeys in coffee, and today, it's where we're starting. My only drinking instruction to you is that after you finish, please take several sips of water in preparation for our next course. And as I hand off this final drink, you are welcome to enjoy. Thank you and enjoy. Give it up for that first round of milk beverages. Judges, we move on today to chase new experiences and new flavors just as those at home do. Passion demands more as it transforms what was once simply a component of a larger beverage into what we know as espresso. It now stands on its own to be deconstructed and understood. And it's in the understanding of espresso's complexities that there is camaraderie, because novice and expert come together, one to ask questions and the other to offer guidance until soon. The line between the two blurs. Once this process was limited to shared moments across the bar, but that time has ended. Because it's now through the internet, through digital media and videos that we're able to step into the homes of those who will drive this industry forward. Now in our own pursuit for new flavors, we come to this espresso course with a fresh coffee. This time, the Sudan Rumay varietal. Produced in Colombia at the same farm as your previous course, this coffee is a natural process with an anaerobic fermentation. Once more, I ask that you wait to taste, but please perform your visual evaluation. We have begun today with 19 grams in, approximately 40 grams out at 20 seconds. Now in these drinks, you will taste a floral rose red grapefruit, a honey sweetness, but a diluted sweetness, like a honey simple syrup. Then papaya, and finally a white peach, 
which is a floral stone fruit that has a subtle minerality. Now your tactile is going to be a medium weight. It has a round and slick mouthfeel and has a long lasting finish of floral citrus oil. The cups in front of you have been chilled along with your spoons and I ask that you stir front to back 10 times in order to fully incorporate your crema. And then judges, you may now enjoy. Give a round of applause for those espressos. Judges, we cannot continue to move forward as an industry if we aren't willing to look past the walls of our own construction. The cafes, classes, and physical meeting places that once felt comfortable to rely on. Because preaching passion is no longer enough if we aren't willing to seek out those who are practicing it. So as automation accelerates, as we continue to figure out what remains remote and what returns, and as a new generation of brewers find their way to our small corner of this vast industry, we have to be ready. Because meeting people where they are has always been the foundation of hospitality. And while the locales, yes, have shifted from what we've known, our intentions have stayed the same. Now, when I was creating this final beverage, I knew I wanted it to be three things. Delicious, replicable, and transformative. Something that people at home could make and enjoy in the comfort of their own homes. And I'm excited to tell you, judges, that due to sharing this drink's assembly via YouTube prior to this moment, there are people all over the world making the same drink that we're about to have. And while this drink's floral and overall tropical profile is possible, with specific coffees mimicking those characteristics, it is optimized with the Sudan Ramay, owing to that unique tropicality and florality that we previously experienced. So now we begin with something familiar. Four shots of the Sudan Ramay Espresso, pulled in the same recipe as our previous course. We begin our transformation with ingredients mimicking those characteristics. We have 30 grams of a mango puree, in combination with the espresso's stone fruit call, creates the flavor of orange creamsicle. Then we have 25 grams of a lime oleosaccharum, made using a one-to-one -one ratio of lime peel and cane sugar, aged and then filtered after eight hours. 30 grams of orange blossom water, in combination with the espresso's florality, creates a steady note of rose water. We have one egg white for texture. And then finally, half a gram of saline solution in order to bring this mixture together harmoniously. I'm gonna step aside for one moment in order to blend and then shake with ice to chill. Judges, I'd like you to take these last moments to make any final notes you have on your score sheets, as well as note the QR codes at the bottom of each of your menus. Those link to the video that is posting of this drinks assembly. I'd also like to remind you to please take those menus with you when you leave the stage today. Now, while we began with something familiar, we now have a drink that is new and unique. And let me remind you, in this drink, you will taste orange creamsicle. You will taste yuzu, which is a lemon-lime flavor with a strong orange influence. Additionally, you will taste lemon gelato, as well as a steady rose water throughout each sip. Your tactile is going to be a medium to heavy weight. The mouthfeel is slick 
silky and cold. And it has a long lasting finish of both citrus oil and rose. Please wait to taste until I tell you so. Judges, it is here that we part ways for today. And we look forward towards a bright future in coffee where we join hands with those who are passionately asking questions and brewing at home. Coffee as we have known it has remained largely unchanged for the past 10 years and it only makes sense that it would now experience such a digital renaissance. We may think it to be something that we can potentially ignore or treat as a fad, but that is simply not true. Because at the end of the day, coffee is global, untethered by proximity, and so is this experience. So it is here, the last day of this competition, that I invite you and all joining us, both near and far, to enjoy your final drink. Please swirl, take in the aroma, and then sip at your leisure. Judges, it has been an absolute honor serving you. Thank you. Give it up for Morgan. That's my time. Well done, Morgan Ekra, Keeper Coffee, Portland, Oregon. Hello. Hi, hello. <laughs> Welcome. How are you doing? Good, good. The, the adrenaline is still like pumping through me right now. <laughs> well, well, you deserve every bit of that. You, you crushed it out there. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So I love your concept here with the digital, what did you call it? A digital renaissance? Yeah, yeah. Good grief. I mean, for everybody <laughs> out words. there that's not on TikTok, this is exactly why you should be on there because Morgan is an incredibly talented content creator. <laughs> I actually, I, I got something for you. Oh, I'm, no. You are, I'm like your <laughs> biggest fan. Oh, okay? my gosh. <laughs> This is amazing. This You're hello, amazing. hello, hello. So, do you have any shout outs that you want to give or oh anything you want to say to this awesome audience out here? So many. Um, I have to I have to do shout outs cuz this this has taken like a thousand people to be up here. Um, my family at home, uh, everyone at work at Keeper like for covering my shifts. Like, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, my my husband's been here Graham the entire time running all of these live streams. So, huge thank you to him. Um, and also to the entire team at Onyx. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. Lance, Andrea, John, the entire team's amazing. And thank you to everyone. <laughs> of course. Well, give it up one more time for Morgan Eckroth of Keeper Coffee, Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much. I'm so, just so proud and have, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so for much. For everybody else out there, please stay tuned at 4.30. Come back for announcements. We will be right here for those. Thank you so much. And here's another word from our sponsors.